this is Scott, the Soulful Progressive, with FNN, Feminist News Network, the feminist news that's right for you. Welcome to Scott, own location in Waikiki, Hawaii. And what do I want to talk to you about today? Well, first you better tell your friends that that Soulful News is in. I know that's right, so like and subscribe today. Alright, get us up there because you know we're gonna tell it and ain't caring about who knows because we're telling it is so. Alright, now what do I want to talk about today? I was listening to Yvette Carnell saying that other progressives aren't talking about it so I'm gonna stand up with you, Yvette and the ADOS that are out there and we're gonna mention what needs to be told and that's to let people like Candace Owens be called out with her mother effing uh, Republican conservative ass. Now, I have came across these tweets that I saw from July 7th where she is talking a fool about ADOS African Americans and yes, there is a difference. And if you don't think it, don't know. Did your grandma sit on her front porch talk about sharecropping and what was being grown out on that field and argue with grandpa about it? Because mine did. Did they ever talk about working those fields? Okay. Because you know our families were talking about how those fields were being plowed and shared and talking about the great migration that went up north and it shows in our look and our food and how we choose to treat the ones we love and I know that's right and you know for people like Candace Owens and all these others that uh, Yvette Carnell was mentioning which I don't really know nothing about because I don't watch Fox News. I'm not in to MSNBC and all the rest, but I'm going to tell you one damn thing. I'm going to tell you one damn thing. That bitch ain't got the right to talk about anybody because she's riding off the backs of what ADOS Americans have provided to allow her ass to do or she wouldn't be able to come over from the island that she's on. And I know that's damn right. I don't think Yvette quite said it like that, but I am. And when I heard about her uh, ranting on these tweets and talking like regular ADOS is dumb and we don't need to be asking for reparation, bitch, what is wrong with you? We have been paving and doing the way and making the work that made this happen and we've been working on that since we landed in Virginia. And I know where my family come from talking about we don't know our roots. You know, Henry Louis Gates been out there telling everybody their roots. And with Ancestry.com, people's been finding out left and right. Now, on my, uh, my my grandfather's side, on my mother's side of the family, we know we came through on Virginia. We know we got our Richburg name from. So don't go there and try to tell us what we know and are proud of, but still deserve reparations because we worked those fields and did what we had to do and did it without being given a dime and been forced to do it the whole damn time. That ain't right, and we deserve reparations because it built the economy and grew capitalism in America. And we deserved our due like the workers deserve more than $15 an hour now. She is stupid and crazy. So, yeah, I call out all those African Amer non Americans that are trying to call out a. EOS, you're wrong and you know you're wrong. And if you agree with me, you can leave comments below and let me know at feministnewsin at gmail.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to that YouTube page and that Facebook. And uh, remember, I'm that soulful progress one on Twitter and got that rant of the day on Blogger. And I'm that one woman team. So if you want to donate, 
PayPal me, Feminist News Network. But remember, in this era of hate, we can't have this black face trying to be proud and suck up to the white nationalist type of people being allowed to call the ADOS and the real black Americans out. And you know it's wrong. Because that ain't what's supposed to be going on. And if you agree, leave comments. But I want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Peace.